Good morning everyone! Today we will be heading into the studios. I usually don't go into the studios on Monday but I wanted to just take some photography of my painting just to show the progress of what I've been working on as you guys saw in the past previous vlogs. So I will show you guys how I take photos in the photography studio at uni. So let's go! So right now guys, I'm just setting up the photo studio for my painting, making sure that the easel is in the right position and the right height. And then here I am just adjusting my painting onto the easel like it has to be straight, I will say, so that it appears straight in the photograph and make sure it's centered. And I'm wearing these goggles because I am using a UV light, which as you can see over here, so we need to protect our eyes when we use it. And then right now, I am setting up a photography for visible light, which is basically just light under normal circumstances, but like professional lighting. <laughs> like you can see how bright this actually looks. I'm just making sure that the white balance is set and then we're taking photos. Good morning guys! Today is library day, like I used to say in the last vlog. So we're gonna go to the library today. Hopefully this time around there's nothing to stop us. And we're gonna try and see if I can start writing my essay. The ethics essay that I mentioned many eons ago. So let's see if we can start writing it. If not, more research? I don't know, I feel like I've been researching too much already. But let's go to the library! Pretty chilly, windy today, 11 degrees Celsius, um, but yeah, I mean, it's not too bad, I think. Not too bad yet. raining and I forgot to bring an umbrella with me neither did I wear my jacket meant for the rain so you guys are here with me under my coat we're heading back I'm feeling kind of peckish um, for lunch but also for like something sweet so I think we'll head over to the supermarket get something like sweet like maybe a dessert we'll head back home for lunch I think I look pretty tired today. I don't know. It's like 7.20 a.m. and we're here on the treadmill running again. Um, obviously doing a brisk warm-up first. <laughs> Not running yet. Um, but yes, we're done. We're done. We're done with our workout. Let me give you some advice, bastard. Never forget what you are. The rest of the world will not wear it like Don't mind the wet hair. <laughs> but I am showered. I had my breakfast like you guys saw. Um, usually on Wednesdays, I have a class, right? And it's either like a science class or a dissertation seminar. Today, there's nothing. What I'm going to be doing right now is actually working on my essay. I'm going to structure my essay out once more again after doing research and everything. I know what I want to write but I don't know how to put it into a structure that flows if that makes sense so then that makes it very difficult to start writing because then I'm not sure what to include or not to include we're gonna do that now hopefully I can finish this before 
10 a.m. It's now 9. I want to get some groceries because we always do a food shop. Uh, I mean, today, this week, the groceries are not going to be a lot. I still have a lot of leftovers. We're just going to get like vegetables mainly. We're not going to get anything else. Maybe. I will see you guys in an hour. I will let you guys know and update you guys if I manage to finish planning out my essay or not. Okay guys, it's 10 o'clock. Uh, I told you I would check in and I... I was a bit distracted for that one hour. I am not gonna lie because I was watching uh, Chunky Bear's stream. It's not Chunky's fault, it's my fault. Like I could clearly just not be in the stream but I wanted to be in the stream. But I still managed to plan out like a mind map of all the content that I have been researching about and the ideas which I think is a good start because right now they are all just in a word doc and they're just jumbled up mess now I have it all out here and I think with this mind map and how I can see things linking together then I can start planning the sections for the essay so yes, I think it should not have taken me an hour to do this. It would have definitely been less, but still a good start. And now I feel like my thoughts, I can clearly see them. It's a bit more clear for me right now. So yes, also, I don't know why my, my face were breaking out today, but that's okay. <laughs> this is like realistic face. I want to give you guys like my trueness. Anyways, I am going on a tangent, but right now we're going to do grocery shopping. Yay! Okay, let's get some groceries now. This is what I'm wearing today. It's basically... I think I wore this last week. I haven't put it in the wash yet, but I'm going to wear it again. And in case it rains, just the rain jacket. Very simple outfit style today. Also, I realized I didn't show you guys yesterday what I had for dessert. I am so sorry. My mind slipped and I didn't film it. But I just had a trifle that I bought from Marks and & Spencer's. And it was really yummy and I really liked it. So definitely satisfied my dessert cravings for sure. Back from the food haul, this is a different view. I've realized I've been doing these food hauls always on the floor and I think I'm just gonna keep it that way. Uh, but we change the angle, I guess, every time. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got for this week. So I got some uh, bok choy. Bok choy is one of my favorite uh, vegetables to eat. Uh, this is my first time actually buying some cherry tomatoes as well. And I bought cherry tomatoes because I wanted to try and make my own creamy tomato pasta sauce, which I think I will enjoy much more than if I bought like a bottled version perhaps. And yeah, so hopefully this will go well. I'm still trying to figure out how to make creamy pasta sauce without cream because it is possible and I'm pretty sure that's what the Italians do. Please correct me if I'm wrong if you are Italian but based on recipes and like TikTok and stuff, anyone who makes creamy pasta sauce with cream, they say you don't technically need it and you just need like parmesan so we shall see. As always, two bananas uh, because I ran out of bananas. I feel like when I got this, they were not as ripe, but they look much riper now. I'm very confused. <laughs> uh, one capsicum just to add to my sandwiches and my wraps. So I I like capsicum a lot. I can eat it raw, I can eat it grilled, roasted, I eat it in any way. Uh, some garlic because I mean you I feel like you can't cook things without garlic and I was running low on my garlic stock Lastly a sweet potato um, So I wanted to finish up the quinoa that I got like last year. It's still here uh, And I want to make like those like like quinoa bowls like superfoods kind of thing I like sweet potato in that way. So I thought I will make some as well and that's it I didn't get like anything else, you know? I'm very proud of myself that we did not spend more and we got what I actually needed only <laughs> for my meals this week. Right now, what I'm gonna do is to pack my laundry. I think... Oh, you guys can't see it. I was hiding it. This... This is clean laundry that has to be put away and I just have not gotten to it. Guys, guess what? So, some of you guys know that I stream on Twitch uh, and I think others don't but fun fact, I am a streamer on Twitch before I decided to start doing vlogs on YouTube and this was just um, a little art that I did uh, in collaboration with 
uh, other streamers and it's like a shirt and it came in the mail and I'm super happy about it like look at this is uh, this is my first time seeing like my art printed on a shirt and I'm like oh I think it just looks so cute and then obviously at the back it has my username over there <laughs> team slummy log which is another fellow streamer as well but oh i'm so happy that the shirts got here thank you so much to mad dog riley for like sending it over to me but yes i wanted to show you guys <laughs> So my teacher is just telling us how to use this heat pressure table for linings. Basically, linings is when the canvas requires more support. I'm here preparing the lining and then I'm here waiting because there's only one table. But I finally got to do it and then you can see here I am with my classmates making sure that there are no air bubbles or pockets of air inside before we turn on the thing. Class has ended and it's like raining right now. There's water on the lens, I think. It's kind of sad when it's like nighttime when class ends, but oh well, what to do? Okay, workout done. My arms are dying. They are super sore. I'm gonna maybe regret this tomorrow. I don't know. We shall see. But right now, I'm gonna prepare some dinner. So basically, this is a beef patty that. Oh! Take two. Basically, I had frozen the beef patty so I can just take it out whenever I want and usually what I do with this beef patty is cook it, obviously. And then I have it with some rice, some vegetables and an egg. So I'm pretty excited to eat this today. Alrighty, this is dinner. This is the beef and then my fried sunny side up egg and then some vegetables. And of course, we can't forget rice. So this is what I'm eating for dinner tonight. As I'm eating dinner, I'm gonna be watching the Netflix show Drive to Survive. I've already completed season 4. Uh, I started from season 4, which is my mistake. I should have started at season 1. But I don't know why. I've been very into F1 lately. Maybe because all of my friends are watching F1. So I want to kind of just understand, I guess, what, you know, what it is about uh, F1. Uh, I am enjoying it so far. I will say I'm not cheering on any team or driver in particular. I'm just very more curious and interested in like the strategy of how to win for each team and like their goals and stuff. So that's what I'm more interested in rather than like cheering on like Lando Norris or Max Verstappen etc, you know. Good morning guys, this is the fit for today. It's still another rainy day so I took out the parka, the rain parka but wearing just some blue pants, white sneakers and just a grey sweater and we're off to class! So, for the second day, we're still using the pressure table from yesterday but instead we're using it with solvent so we have to wear our gas mask that's why we're all masked up in class and as we're waiting for it to work its magic I'm here with my project painting and doing some varnish removal basically those videos you see on TikTok or Instagram and I'm just checking on the UV light to make sure that I have cleaned the area and it's not like dirty as in like there's no leftover varnish or whatsoever Also guys, for the presentation, we're working on this painting right here um, and we're doing like preventive care so we're looking at this monitor that tells us like the humidity and all these things It's me and the library again! We're here to borrow more books! <laughs> We got the book on the 5th floor, now we're going down to that sub basement that I showed you guys We're making a trip today, I tell you I can't find the book But they say 
It's on the fifth floor. So guess what? We're going back to the fifth floor again. <laughs> In the end, I'm not borrowing the book because it turns out I don't think it is what I needed. So we went to the fifth floor for no reason. But I still got this book, which is good. All right. Guys, we're back home from school and I have like a salmon just marinating here waiting to be uh, cooked. This is like a miso glaze kind of salmon that I'm trying out. I've already prepared my like vegetables and my carbs which is soba noodles. Basically, I just boiled them all together. Right now, I am boiling an egg which well then, um, it has exploded so I don't think I, sometimes I have this issue with egg and I wonder if it's because the pan is too big that my egg just explodes But we're gonna just boil this egg, I wanna try and get like a hard boiled ish sort of egg And then we will cook the salmon after that And this is how the final dish looks like I have like some miso sauce, my salmon, my beautiful onseni looking egg and vegetables I'm gonna eat my dinner and then just relax and rest for the rest of the night But so much guys again for watching this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope that you guys whenever you are watching this have a good rest of your morning afternoon or evenings wherever you are in the world and i'll see you in the next vlog bye bye